A Nintendo Direct League claims to know the next fighter in Smash Brothers and a lot of other Nintendo games. Let's do it! Rock on What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. We get to talk about a whole lot of cool stuff. Yes, we get to talk about everything ranging from Zippo, a lot of leaked Nintendo stuff, a lot of deep dive into stuff like Inverse.com doing a really interesting article on a March Nintendo Direct that might be coming, even some leaked stuff that talks about the past couple of weeks and what might be coming up for Nintendo and Super Smash Brothers in particular. And it's a really Really interesting to think about all these things coming together because it's already the end of February almost and we've not heard a peep about a Nintendo Direct, right? We just had that Animal Crossing Direct, we had a Sakurai Direct talking about Byleth earlier in the year, but there was nothing in terms of that big Nintendo Direct that talks about the entire year. It seems like every year we can expect at least that and that doesn't seem like the case this time. It might even be pushed onto next month, which I don't hope, but there's a lot to hope on because we have a lot more information regarding leaks and rumors rumors in the Nintendo Direct and Super Smash Bros. sphere that I can't wait to talk about with you guys in today's video. It's going to be a lot of fun, and it's been a lot of fun answering you guys' questions about Smash Bros. Ultimate and new fighters in our show Question Blocked, where I answer your questions. What do I think of your favorite game? How do you start making videos on YouTube? Well, whatever you can think of, send your question through to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com and I will answer your question live on the show in one of our next Question Blocked episodes. And here's a brand new giveaway. Super cool. You can win one of these Mario surprise capsules. Any Mario item, Yoshi character could be inside. I leave them closed so you can find out what's inside when you win. Real life loot boxes. So remember to like this video, subscribe to Blocked Content right now, and comment down below to enter for those four giveaways. All right, guys, let's get into the main topic of today, and that is, of course, talking about Zippo, a person who has leaked so much stuff. We get to talk about this Inverse article, leaked a bunch of Nintendo games coming throughout the year, and let's do a deep dive into this Inverse article. It's really interesting, and it actually reads Nintendo Direct 2020. So it's a leak for March, right? This is really interesting because everyone's been hoping for a February one, and well, if this is to be believed, doesn't seem to be the case, saying Nintendo Direct leak claims March 2020 event will focus on Metroid Prime 4. Get hyped, right? Nintendo will broadcast an Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct to give fans off the series an in-depth look at the gameplay. Now, we've once seen this, right? The company was widely expected to host a presentation for the live stream set to release on March 20th, so it wasn't a huge surprise. But head-turning leak suggests that Nintendo has even bigger plans for March. Right, so heading straight on into next month, which is totally crazy, I could have never expected that, and a now deleted Reddit thread posted by you slash New Horizons TH Monday night accurately predicted that Nintendo would announce a New Horizons Direct on Wednesday. The Redditor, who said to have been tipped off by a high school classmate who's now affiliated with the game's giant, also claimed that there will be another Direct in mid-March that will include updates on the long-delayed Metro Prime 4 and a few other titles. And if you guys have been following leak news, this is really interesting because actually a lot of people who have leaked Nintendo stuff have gone to jail right now. It's a really crazy sphere that, you know, you really have to watch what you do. And I mean, even Sabi, you know, had to cease and desist and had to stop leaking any Nintendo stuff, right? So a quote, a general direct will come in the second week of March. Metroid Prime 4 will be in it, which is no surprise really, they wrote. They'll also finally showcase Pikmin 4, so cue all the Arlo <laughs> so to come out during the holiday this year. There were others mentioned, but those two stuck out as they got me particularly excited. So there's no way to verify U slash New Horizon TH's claim at this point, but they were right about the New Horizons Direct, especially the date, which adds some credibility to their predictions. It has been six months since Nintendo hosted a general Nintendo Direct that's not pegged to a specific game. The last one took place on September 4 and included 29 individual announcements, including a Nintendo Switch port of Overwatch and a remastered version of Xenoblade Chronicles. This is the longest Nintendo has ever gone without hosting a Direct of this scale, but it could soon make up for all that lost time. Is Metroid Prime 4 release date finally on the horizon, the new horizon? So there have been no official word about Metroid Prime 4 since Nintendo's 2019 announcement of an indefinite 
delay due to development being restarted under Retro Studios. A March Direct could finally reveal a release window for the highly anticipated follow-up to 2007's Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, and Pikmin 4 might awaken from its slumber, right? It's been almost five years since the announcement of Pikmin 4. Could a release date finally be revealed? Well, Pikmin 4 has also been trapped in limbo since it was unveiled in 2015. Nintendo designer Shigeru Miyamoto told GameRant in 2016 that the puzzle game was low on the totem pole of Nintendo's priorities, but it wasn't dead. A year later, Miyamoto didn't have any news to share, but told Eurogamer that Pikmin 4 was still progressing, right? We've all known about that weird Eurogamer article where Sakurai was basically already talking about sequels when they were still doing a lot of stuff for Pikmin 3, right? The series has been dormant ever since, but March could finally bring a trailer and a release date window, right? Mario Kart 9 could also be part of the March Direct. The original post only mentioned the possibility of Metroid and Pikmin announcements, but the Reddit leaker later elaborated that Nintendo has more up its sleeve. In a response to a comment on the original thread, the leaker actually claimed his source told him to expect some kind of Mario reveal in March 2. Mamma mia, right? He mentioned Mario at some point, but I kind of brushed it off because it's Nintendo. Of course there will be Mario, they replied. While the leaker didn't go into detail, this vague prediction may support ongoing rumors Nintendo could be gearing up to announce Mario Kart 9. Gaming insider and reputable leaker Sabi tweeted that Nintendo could push out a new installment of its iconic racer since the development of Breath of the Wild 2 was proceeding lower and slower than expected. Plus, it's been since a year since a brand new Mario Kart game was released, right? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe 2017 was even a port of the Wii U title Mario Kart 8 from 2014 that came with additional DLC content and graphic improvements for the new console. The re-release became the fastest selling game in the franchise's history after its release, racking up more than 1.2 million unit sales in only three days. There's every reason to believe that Nintendo wants to continue the series' momentum with a 2020 announcement. Well, ready your Nintendo Switches, guys. The next few months could be jam-packed with hype Nintendo announcements, and that's what makes me particularly excited about this news, because, yeah, if it is to be believed, there's a lot of good stuff coming, but not just because of this report, right? I mean, it's very interesting that Inverse.com talks about all this Nintendo stuff coming in March. The time is kind of running out for February, and March does seem very likely, although it does mean that every year a Nintendo Direct is a little bit later and I mean what happens next you know just an E3 direct every year and a winter or holiday direct you know there's lots of games to expect in this direct it's gonna be a big one lots of first party titles I mean that's just a thing that happens if you do a big direct like this after so much silence and express.co.uk has a lot to say about a direct potentially coming for February or you know good and bad news for switch fans hoping for February 2020 Nintendo direct Switch fans keep their fingers crossed for a February 2020 Nintendo Direct, and they have been dealt with some good and some bad news. This is posted by Dion Desanakaye. So, saying, we are currently in the midst of the longest wait for a brand new Nintendo Direct broadcast since the Switch first launched almost three years ago. The last time the House of Mario held a proper Nintendo Direct broadcast was back in September, where Animal Crossing Switch was properly unveiled. Since then, Switch fans have seen other Direct broadcasts, but they've been focused on indie games or on specific titles like the recent Pokemon and Smash Directs. However, according to the rumor mill, Ninty has has two directs in the works for February 2020. This rumor came courtesy of Reset Era user Zippo, who correctly called a February 20 direct for Animal Crossing New Horizons, which could lend weight to the claims that Zippo made about a second Nintendo Direct being held in February of 2020. We're at the start of the week, so there's plenty of time for Nintendo to take place. It's possible we could see a Nintendo Direct being held a week after the Animal Crossing one, which means it could be taking place on Thursday, February 27th, and at the moment of this recording, that has not yet happened. Fans will have to keep a close eye on Nintendo Twitter accounts to this week to see if a Direct does get announced for February 2020. If not, then Nintendo Switch fans may see another Direct being held soon. The latest rumor has claimed that there will be a Nintendo Direct being held in the second week of March. And what is of course also interesting, that this correctly was predicted, right? And as it also predicted when Nintendo would announce the Animal Crossing Direct, this alleged leak says that Metroid Prime 4 as well as Pikmin 4 will get showcased in the next Direct. The direct leak appeared in a now-deleted Reddit post, which said, I know 9 times out of 10, 
this is fake, but all I can do is offer you my word that my source is legit. An old high school classmate who has worked with Nintendo, don't want to divulge more than that, but their level of internal knowledge is significant. I was in their city for work over the weekend and we caught up over some beers for Saturday night. Well, what I've been told is that an Animal Crossing Direct will be announced tomorrow morning and will take place on Thursday. It'll delve more into how shops come to the island, it's somewhat similar to New Leaf's system, but deeper and gives more room for the player to personalize their island. A general Direct will come in the second week of March. Metro Prime 4 will be in it, which is no surprise, and we all talked about everything that's coming next. Another title that could also feature would be Mario Kart 9, and it is rumored that a new Mario Kart game will replace The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 as the big holiday release for the Switch this year. There's so much to unpack here. It's really interesting to talk about all this direct stuff when we don't even know if there's one on the horizon yet. I mean, something that I'm severely awaiting is a Mario Odyssey sequel or some sort of additional content to it. I think it's just about time. It's so strange that we never got added DLC worlds for that game. And of course, learning more about Breath of the Wild 2 would be amazing. And yes, it's been such a long wait for any Metroid Prime 4 news. And I actually personally think that we will not be getting any more news for that game for a very long time, maybe even until about two directs from now. I really think that it's a long ways off, but these people are really predicting that Metroid Prime 4 will be a main focus. I'm really curious if you guys have any thoughts on this. You know, what do you think will actually happen and when will this direct anyway happen? It's totally strange to talk about all of this because we just don't know. But if these leaks are to be believed, it is right around the corner. So I'd love to hear what you guys think. If you comment down below, that could actually be featured and read out loud in our next video. And today's comment question is, of course, will it happen in February or will it happen in March? And as for a previous comment question, winner, our answer comes to us from our user Knuckles Andreasen, saying, Warning, a new challenger approaches. Bandicoot Crash the party. I know, it's so bad. Anyways, I mean, come on, Crash, Sonic, and Mario, the legendary trio in an ultimate battle. It's meant to happen. If he's not in, oh man, it will be a big mistake for sure. Oh, and I want to say my list I wanted to pass. 1. Crash, 2. Spyro, 3. Shantae, 4. Dante, 5. Heihachi, and 6. Cosmos. So Knuckles, thank you so much for your sweet comment. And yes, I think that if Crash crashes the party, that will probably be one of his like lines, right? That will be very interesting to have like be the tagline when he appears. Super awesome. And I've also heard a lot of great comments from you guys saying like if Crash were to like be star KO'd or KO'd on the side of the screen in Smash Brothers, his shoes will fly. I mean, that is just such a cool idea. And you know, something similar happens when Mega Man bites the dust with the pew, 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 you know, a little explosion from the games, I think that they'll do a lot of cool stuff to make that Crash personality really come to life. So Knuckles, thank you so much for sending in your comments and everybody. I mean, these are so much fun to read through. I do that like in my free time. I totally love reading through you guys' comments. And of course, a big shout out to our latest Patreon supporters. And of course, you guys sending super chats during our live streams. You guys make blocked content possible. So if you want to have yourself created as a little block content guy, join me for a live Skype chat or even have your own ideas become animations. Go to patreon.com slash blocked content. There's a bunch of incredible rewards there and they're waiting just for you. And remember, if you're not yet a member of the blocked content family yet, hit subscribe now, smash that like button and ring the bell for notifications and all the news and fun that you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you around the corner where there's always more blocked content. See ya.